I'm Nikon Ambassador Christian Bogner. This is the new Nikon Z9, and I cannot wait to tell you about it. I had one week to shoot with the pre-production Z9, and this is what I came up with. To be able to shoot 20 frames per second on this camera with basically unlimited buffer at 45 megapixel is a game changer. It's the first time that we have seen this in a Nikon flagship. This is my dream camera. This is what I've always been waiting for, is a camera that can do it all. So motocross, I think, has got to be my new favorite sport to shoot, and I just had a blast. The track was stunning. I mean, I only had probably three or four hours at the track. That's all I got. All this video you're seeing right now, this was shot 4K 120 handheld that same night. I just flicked the switch, set it to 4K 120, and was able to follow the subject, use the autofocus, and the stabilization on the sensor, even with long lenses, was able to give me beautiful, cinematic-looking footage. There's something pretty awesome about taking a series of photographs, looking at your images, and seeing that you nailed every single shot, you know, at 20 frames per second. You feel like a rock star. And that feeling that you get, that confidence that you have then on the next sequence, it raises that amplitude. It raises that experience and that joy and all the things that go into co-creating an image of excellence. The VR on the sensor is amazing. Just look at what I was able to capture handheld, even from a helicopter. Rodeo is a dynamic sport to photograph and film, and it really put this camera to the test. So I wanna talk a little bit about just the autofocus, because I think that is the biggest of all the game changers in the Nikon Z9. If you've used the D5 or you've used D6, it's better than that, which, which says a lot because I always felt when I photographed with a D6 that I couldn't miss focus. Well, this is on another level because they have a very powerful processor, the x 7 which is by a comparison, 10 times more powerful than the Z7 II processor, which is very impressive. It has this amazing artificial intelligence component to the autofocus where not only does it know if it's a person or an animal, but it knows if it's a cockpit or a bike or a car. Z9 uses deep learning algorithms to diagnose what you're photographing or filming and gives you precise autofocus even at 20 frames per second and beyond. So at the stadium that evening, there's a Gord Bamford concert and I'm up in the stands, it's dark, and I'm just like pulling out the camera and, and filming and photographing this from stands. People are dancing, they're, they're bouncing up and down, there's vibration, and I'm even shooting 8K footage, just handheld, trying to hold it as steady as I can. And then I'm able to then pan across that 8K footage in a 4K timeline and just kind of create this dolly-like cinematic look or I'm able to zoom in and just look at the color that I'm getting right out of the camera. Quality of this footage the quality of the sensor for photographs and for video, it just has this cinematic feel to it in a way that I've never seen from a Nikon camera. Photographing landscapes and even shooting directly at the sun shows off the amazing stepless gradations and dynamic range of this camera. Wildlife and nature wasn't my focus for this assignment with Nikon. It was sports but going to and from some of the sporting events, I was able to, to sort of see an osprey or a hawk out of the corner of my eye, stop the car, put my 500 PF on, and get some amazing shots.
I was shooting this Osprey probably for a minute straight and at 700 millimeters keeping it in my frame. That was amazing. But then to be able to shoot a low light or even 4K 120 handheld with my 500 millimeter, with my 500 with a 1.4 tele, but even with my two times teleconverter on my 500 millimeters, so that's a thousand millimeters, and then to flick a switch and go to 2.3 times crop in 4K 120 and be filming at 2300 millimeters. That is mind blowing. This shot right here is at 2300 millimeters handheld. Being able to shoot rock steady footage like this handheld changes the game. It allows me to meet the moment with a lot less gear to carry around. Nikon has put so much love and attention into this camera. And there are so many new features, so many customizations, even to be able to like put the camera up, change your display and have an option to have nothing on your display. So when you look through, it's like you're looking through a window while you're photographing. And it's actually really cool because that combined with not having a shutter, so you have no blackout whatsoever, it just gives you this different experience unlike any that I've ever had before, where you're so connected to the subject. And on top of all of that, the refresh on this electronic viewfinder is the fastest I've ever seen. So as a sports photographer, you just don't have to worry about missing that moment or, or having any type of a delay. What you see is what you're gonna get. And when you click the shutter, you nail the shot. Next up, we're putting the camera to the test indoors by photographing strap aerialists doing Cirque du Soleil moves in the air. I just love this shoot because it was such a good challenge. There were so many different variables. We had only a couple hours to shoot in this gym in the evening. We had my Broncolor Score OS unit with a couple light heads, uh, high speed triggers, LED lights, fog machine, uh, I had a gimbal that I'd hook up to the camera. So there's these variables and you just don't know. It's the first time, you know, using the camera with any of those things and it's a pre-production camera. Everything just exceeded my expectations. I love it when you have a great energy on shoot. All the athletes, everybody involved in that shoot had such great energy. And of course, you know, my energy was, was off the charts because everything was in flow and everything was working. And that again is all part of that co-creation, right? Where everybody is in this flow together and you know, the photographer is creating with the athletes and the athletes are creating with the photographer and what comes out of it is something of excellence. And uh, I'm really proud of these shots. I'm proud of what I was able to do in less than a week with the camera. And I cannot wait until I get my production Nikon Z9 and see what I can come up with next. If you like this video and want to see more of what I was able to create with the Nikon Z9, go to Nikon Canada's YouTube channel. I have a Stay Inspired Z9 talk there that goes into a lot more detail. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you some insights into what this camera can really do. And I'll see you on the next video.